With BS6 deadlines looming on the horizon, it's the death knell of one of our favourite cars, India's favourite cars in fact, the Maruti Suzuki Brezza with its 1.3 diesel heart. In its place, Maruti think it has the solution with the 1.5 litre petrol. And that's right, the Brezza is going to be petrol only this time around. Along with this change in engine, there's a few more upgrades that Maruti is throwing in. Let's see if the Brezza can write its success story all over again. The facelift most noticeably brings with it signature LED DRLs that double up as turn signal indicators. A closer look reveals the new chrome bar grille, LED projector headlamps, LED fog lamps, reprofiled bumpers and skid plates, and new 16-inch wheels with machined faces. You're likely to think the most modern end of the Brezza is in fact its rear with the striking LED daylights pulling more than their weight, though a couple of new colours and contrast roof options try as well. So when it comes to the cabin of the updated Brezza, it's just as comfortable, spacious and functional as it ever was. Now with that, it feels like Maruti did miss an opportunity to actually just take the cabin of the Brezza a little bit further. So they have the same old black and white multi-information display between the dials. I feel like they could have included a colour display like they have on some of the other cars. I feel like a sunroof would have been a very valuable addition, especially since people seem to be in love with it, despite the weather that we have. The good thing is, the few updates that they have made in the form of the leather wrap steering wheel does make a tangible difference to the perceived quality of the cabin. They also have an auto dimming IRVM and electronically folding ORVMs, which just make the Brezza a little bit easier to live with. That being said, the Brezza's cabin is as spacious and comfortable as one would remember. The front seats being better than the rear, which could have used a more relaxed angle of recline and a little bit more under thigh support. And while the inclusion of a cool upper glove box is nice, rear AC vents would have been far nicer. We know, we know, a lot of you are not very happy about the Brezza not having a diesel engine anymore. But the 1.5 litre petrol that now finds home under the hood of the refreshed Brezza is quite a nice motor. We've also experienced it in the Sias and in the new Ertiga. And like in those cars, Maruti is offering it with the choice of a 5-speed manual transmission and a 4-speed automatic. What's different though is that Maruti has equipped their smart hybrid system on only the automatic variant of the Brezza. That's probably in the interest of cost cutting. And does it make a difference to how the car drives? Well, it's hard to say unless we do a proper road test of it. I think the big question on everyone's minds is moving from a 1.3 litre diesel to a 1.5 litre petrol, larger displacement but less torque. How is that going to work out? Well, this 1.5 litre petrol does have more power on its side. Of course, it's built a lot higher up the rev range, but the good thing is if you weren't a big fan of how that 1.3 litre diesel gave you that big shove of power at about 2000 rpm, which could be a little hard to modulate, especially when you're in the city and you're driving bumper to bumper. Well, the petrol is a lot easier to drive in the city and you are not gonna miss that extra torque that the diesel had. This engine, by virtue of its displacement, is perfectly easy going for most situations. Like we've said before, the only issue that we have with this 1.5 litre engine and 5-speed manual transmission is the fact that it's a 5-speed manual. Bharati, that doesn't cut it any longer, especially when you're out on the highway and the engine's sounding just a little hassle at 3000 rpm at a steady cruising speed of 100 kmph. And that can't mean good things for fuel efficiency as well, though Maruti claim a pretty astonishing 17 kmpl for the manual transmission Brezza and 18.7 kmpl for the automatic. And that's because it has a smart hybrid system. How does it work? Well, let's jump into the automatic and see. The 4-speed torque converter is a gearbox that prefers smooth inputs and a relaxed pace and it reacts accordingly. While perfectly capable in the city with smooth shifts being a plus point, 
overtakes will need some extra planning to give the gearbox that extra second to respond. The gearbox's 2 and L modes help when you're driving uphill, keeping the gearbox in the lower gear to give you that torque when you need it. In going from diesel to petrol, the Brezza has lost a little bit of weight and importantly that weight has been lost over the front wheels which means that when you enter a corner and you're trailing the brakes just a little bit there's the perfect balance between front and rear to get a nice agile turn in and these are not usually words that you would associate with a compact SUV and if the previous diesel Brezza was one of our handling favourites the new one, I think, is going to blow a lot of people's socks off. Now, the Brezza may seem a little pricey, especially when you consider the automatic variants are about a lakh and a half rupees more than the manuals. But apart from offering the largest capacity petrol engine here, the Brezza doesn't offer much that stands out from its competition unless you count its spaciousness. Of course, the fact that it outsells the competition helps and the new petrol package is as convincing as ever.